Authorities are searching a landfill for signs of a missing Virginia toddler who reportedly vanished from his Hampton mobile home Monday. According to WAVY-TV and the Daily Press, Hampton Police Chief Terry Salt told reporters Wednesday that a search of the Bethel landfill was always in the plan since two-year-old Noah Tomlin was reported missing two days earlier. There is nothing specific that led us to the landfill, he said, of the site, which is about 10 miles from Noah's Atlantic Avenue home. But in past experience, we have found we often have to search these areas. The boy's mother told police that she last saw Noah about 1 a.m. Monday when she put him to bed. About 10 hours later, she called police to report him missing, authorities said. Noah reportedly was wearing a diaper and a white and green pajama shirt before he disappeared. Police said they are using all available resources to try to find the boy and have received assistance from state and federal authorities. We have looked on land and water. We have checked trash dumpsters. We have checked neighborhoods, houses, underneath buildings, in sheds, Salt said, according to CNN. We've actually covered the area multiple times with different teams so we could have different eyes checking the same locations repeatedly. Investigators continue to look into multiple scenarios, including foul play, Salt added. Police said Noah's parents have been cooperative but did not release their names, the Daily Press reported. Authorities have also contacted the child's extended family, including people who live outside the state. Police are asking anyone with information about Noah's disappearance to call 1-888-LOCKUP or 757-727-6111. So I did a little digging and I found out Noah's mother's name is Julie Leanne Tomlin. And her and a guy named Justin Samuel Jones were both charged with felony child neglect in 2010. On Tuesday, May 24, 2010, at approximately 12.15 p.m., officers were dispatched to the 500 block of Woodall Court in reference to meeting Child Protective Services and medics at an apartment regarding a case of possible child abuse. Upon arriving at the residence, officers observed a one-year-old female who was suffering from burn marks on her back, shoulders, and the back of her arms. The apartment was also in disarray with clothes and toys and other items thrown all about the bedroom and hallway. There were also four other siblings, a six- and one-year-old female and a two- and two-year-old male that resided in this apartment. The one-year-old was transported to an area hospital where she was treated for injuries and related. The other four siblings had no signs of abuse. Special victims detective investigated the case and found that the child had been placed on the stove while the parents tended to another child. The one-year-old fell over and on one of the burners and sustained injuries. The incident occurred on Friday, April 30th, and the parents did not seek any medical attention for their child. The detectives charged both the mother and the father with one count each of felony child neglect. The mother was identified as Julie Leanne Tomlin, who was 25 years old at the time, and the father was identified as Justin Samuel Jones, who was 28 at the time, and they both resided in the 500 block of Woodall Court with their five children. So what I was reading right there about the incident where the child got uh, burned is from 2010. So these people seem like they're shady and I was snooping a little bit on Facebook and I hate to say it but I think this is another AJ friend case. Um, it seems like their house was uh, unfit for children and why in the hell would you place a kid on the stove when the burner's on? That does not make any sense. And this little boy, Noah, I just don't see how he could wander off from his bed because he was two years old and he could barely take a couple steps without falling down. Now, I'm not sure if he had some kind of uh, disability. I don't know if he's autistic or what's up with that, but something is shady about this. She puts her kid, her two-year-old, to bed at 1 a.m. and doesn't check on him till 11 that morning. 11 a.m. that morning, that doesn't make sense to me, guys.